This morning at exactly 8 a.m., church bells at St. John's Cathedral in Belize City began to toll. The clang reverberated across the old capital, a solemn signal of the death of the longest reigning monarch in British history, Queen Elizabeth II, and the rise of a new head of state, King Charles III. Prime Minister John Brisenio spoke with reporters this afternoon. Like our Belizeans, we were shocked. We knew it was coming, but nobody expected it to be come to happen so fast. I mean, just on on uh, Monday, she met with the past prime minister and all the present prime minister, um, and then to find out that four days later she is dead. We are all grateful. I mean, to, for the work that Queen Elizabeth II has done for seventy plus years as as a queen um, of England and the Commonwealth. Um, is the only queen that Belize have have known since 1981. She visited Belize um, um, twice, and people were excited about when, uh, about her visit. So we are saddened by by her death, um, and we certainly I take the opportunity on behalf of all Belizeans to express our deepest condolences to the to the, to the family to you now King Charles uh, King Charles III and his entire family um, on the loss of not only the Queen of England and the Commonwealth, but of a mother and a grandmother. On Thursday, a declaration was made that the nation is now in a period of mourning. Flags are being flown at half-mast across Belize until the Queen's funeral on the 18th of September. Today, the Prime Minister explained that September 10th celebrations, while still scheduled to take place, will be dampened. This is a tough one. I mean, we know that Belizeans have been locked up for almost two years, and um, Belizeans now want a chance to be able at least to come out. Um, if we, as a government, were to say there's going to be no parade tomorrow, you know immediately the UDPs want to shout out that, oh, the PUP wants to kill the 10th of September. And certainly that's not, that's not true. Um, so what we have done, um, um, Minister Fonseca, um, his, um, they, they, they had um, consultations with the um, St. George's Key um, Committee and to ask them for some sort of advice. And they are insisting that they still want to have a parade, but they have also assured the committee that the parade is going to be done tastefully tomorrow and um, and trying to, to hold it down as best as we possibly can. Belize's head of state is no longer Queen Elizabeth II. The titular head of state is now King Charles III, the eldest son of Queen Elizabeth. The office of the Governor General of Belize in a press release following the death of Queen Elizabeth II wrote, Long live the King, signaling the turn of an era. King Charles III arrived at Buckingham Palace this morning as the United Kingdom is in mourning. He made his first public appearance as king in a pre-recorded address. I speak to you today with feelings of profound sorrow. Throughout her life, Her Majesty the Queen, my beloved mother, was an inspiration, an example to me and to all my family. And we owe her the most heartfelt debt any family could owe to their mother for her love, affection, guidance, understanding, and example. Queen Elizabeth was a life well lived, a promise with destiny kept, and she is mourned most deeply in her passing. That promise of lifelong service I renew to you all today. Alongside the personal grief that all my family are feeling, we also share with so many of you in the United Kingdom, in all the countries where the Queen was head of state, in the Commonwealth and across the world, a deep sense of gratitude for the more than 70 years in which my mother as Queen served the people of so many nations. Prime Minister John Brisenio has placed his vote of confidence in the leadership of King Charles III, referring to the King's wit and passion for conservation. I have met with him uh, on a few occasions and, uh, and I've spoken to him. We know that he is big into conservation. He was in, into conservation before it was in vogue, before it was the thing to, to do. 
um, from the probably from the 70s, he was talking about conservation. So every time we meet, we talk about conservation and what is it that we can do. He's excited about about what Belize has, has been doing. The last time we met, um, I think he was in Kigali, and um, he was very excited about the blue bond and like, asking for explanation how how it has worked out, and he also was putting us in in touch with other groups that can help to raise um, funds for, for conservation. So um, I know him to be a person that that, is, that has some wit here, you know, when, when he's speaking with you. He's down to earth. He's humble despite the fact that, you know, he comes from such a very important family. And, and, and do believe that, that he, he's going to do well. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.